Outside of dancing, one of the things I love to do is to model. I have done a little bit of modeling, mostly for, for dancewear lines and things like that, but I, I would love to get into the more high fashion and, and runway modeling. Kayla definitely has that, that model look. She's stunning, like absolutely stunning. I like the fact of going in and them dolling you up. You get to go out there and take a ton of pictures and that's your job. I think that's awesome. So besides dancing, one of the things I absolutely love to do is costume designing. I have seen some of Pono's costume designs. His outfits are really elaborate all the time. Last week he had this green fox tail on his shoulder. When it comes to like our intros for the show and stuff, a lot of the pieces that I wear are my own. His style is really kind of crazy and kooky, but I think that's what makes him him. Last week was intent and just difficult and hard in every aspect. Being in the bottom three sucks. The person leaving us tonight is Max. I actually have no idea what happened. We got such great critiques. I loved the routine. I loved the way you danced it. It just goes to show that you can't take anything for granted. For their first dance as a couple, the pair will be taking on a Viennese waltz with choreographer Jean-Marc Généraux. The whole dance consists of me taking her on this dream in which we then end dreaming up together. It's a dream. It's actually now the dream team. And we go one, two, three, two, two, three. Rehearsal was kind of a mess. Yeah. <laughs> oh, the lifts are tough. Oh, I'm okay. I like my upper body strength like a lot, so it's gonna be Oh, a lot of push-ups and a, a lot of that kind of stuff over the course of the next couple of days. There's a lot of posture stuff. There's a lot of footwork and spinning and tucking under his arm. Where does this hand go? Yeah. I keep on hitting her nose. They would just go through step after step, and I'm, I'm trying to keep up. <laughs> <laughs> but then they go back to the top, and I'm like, wait, huh? This dream starts to be a nightmare! <laughs> I hope that we can just pull the, the audience in emotionally and, and make them feel like they're part of the dream. <gasps> it's their first dance together, so show them some love. Ladies and gentlemen, Kayla and Capono. A gorgeous new couple. I love this new couple that's going on. Woo Very lovely. Okay, Nigel, when dancers reach into that hat and they pick out a Viennese waltz, they die a million deaths. <laughs> what do you think? Um, yes and no. Y yes and no. I mean, sometimes the flow of the movement is so beautiful um, that you're not really going to have any tricks that you can't do in it. You're not really going to have a style that any dancer shouldn't be able to do, which is waltz. Yeah. Um, so 
it's, it's just not one of those routines where you're going to get a hundred rounds of applause uh, and everyone go, wow, wasn't that fantastic? It was very, very beautiful. You make a very beautiful couple. Your choreographers, in Jean-Marc and France, are a very beautiful couple together. I know how much they help and they've assisted you no end in this routine to keep the flow of movement going, even when the look is on one of you and not the other. So from that point of view, it was very beautiful, it was very elegant. It isn't gonna make anybody stand up and cheer. That is the only thing about this routine. But just because... I see standing and, and cheering. And the only <laughs> thing that I could hope is that I am wrong in that people do stand up and cheer, and that people do pick the telephone up because it's justly deserved. We're teasing you, Nigel. <laughs> Mary, over to you. Well, I know one thing for sure. That was no nightmare, John Mark. No, it wasn't. No! Not even close. It was elegant. It was flowing. And it was totally believable from the time that it started and you went to pick your partner up. It was just absolutely endearing. It just had a beautiful flow to it. You guys, not even close to a ballroom. I mean, both of you contemporary dancers. And yes, you should have good lines. We expect that. But the quality of movement and the fact that you had a feel through your body of the rise and the fall and you captured that, it was really amazing. Capono, if you do get this dance again, however, you know, and of course in bare feet, it's a little difficult. You have to get those heel leads on the one. But at least there was a lilt going on on through the body and you young lady you're just absolutely dead gorgeous to watch dance yeah. every step of the way and yes is it hard sometimes to feel like yes can I stand up and cheer for a Viennese waltz because it isn't fast it isn't fiery it isn't spicy you know I have to make an exception tonight Nigel I do <laughs> I have to put them on the hot tamales <laughs> for you over there. Look at Jean-Marc punching me That's out. That's right, Jean-Marc and France. They always Woo! just look as though they're having so much fun as well, too, right? Was it fun doing that? They're yes. amazing. They're amazing. Just. They have so much fun. <laughs> Tony, did you like the routine? Well, I, yes. I actually really liked it. But I want to say something that you brought up. No shoes in a, in a waltz. Jean-Marc, you are pushing the envelope with no shoes in a waltz. But I, I, I did, I did love it. Miss, you are something else. You, you do not let your technique get in the way of your reality on stage. You are always in the moment. You are always alive. You're really an extraordinary dancer. And you for, is this, isn't this the first time you've been partnered new together? Partnerships. I mean, this is a new partnership. And the way you partnered her and lifted her and moved her around, I thought was really commendable. And I actually really, really loved this dance. I loved it. OK, well, if you want to keep these two safe and away from the judges, you've got to pick up that phone and vote for them. For Kayla and Capono, call 1-888-TEMPO-05. That's 1-888-836-7605. Well done, you two. First week together, and you're on the train. Oh. Time to take another very quick break, but don't go anywhere. Evan and Ryan.